children welcome back to our physics class i hope you have learnt the previous modules clearly in this section we are going to learn about stars stars are huge celestial bodies made mostly of hydrogen and helium that produce light and heat from the chemical reactions taking place inside their cores they are building blocks of galaxies and there are billions of galaxies existing in the universe it is impossible to know how many stars exist but astronomers estimate that in our milky way galaxy alone there are about 300 billions of stars are present now we can discuss about the main concepts given in this chapter stars are celestial bodies that emit light of their own you learned in your previous classes that the objects which is having their own light we call them as luminous objects or luminous bodies so stars are luminous objects we can see a large number of stars in the night sky that means it is countless what about the distance of these stars from the earth the distance of the stars from the earth or the distances between heavenly bodies in space are very very large therefore astronomers use a special units to measure distances in space this unit is called light year let's discuss about light year you know that you will be using different units to measure a physical quantity normally to measure a smaller distance we will be using millimeter centimeter meter etc and when we measure the distance between two cities we will be using kilometer mile etc similarly here we will be using light year as the unit of distance when we consider the astronomical distances so light year means it is the distance traveled by the light in one year but the speed of light is 3 lakh kilometer per second therefore it is the distance traveled by the light in one year at a speed of 3 lakh kilometer per second now we will convert this light year into kilometer you all know that how to convert the units from a higher unit to a lower unit that means for example when we tell 1 kilometer to meter you all know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter or 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter similarly here we will be converting light year to kilometer so one light year is equal to you know that in the definition we told it it is the distance traveled by the light in one year so it is the distance traveled in one year i have noted the equation of speed in bracket there that means speed is equal to distance by time so from here i can write distance is equal to speed into time so the distance traveled in one year i am expressing with this equation as speed of light into one year so speed of light i told it it is 3 lakh kilometer per second into one year as the speed is given in kilometer per second i want to convert the one year also to second so when i convert one year to seconds one year is equal to 365 days then one day means it is 24 hours and one hour it consists of 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds so one year is corresponding to 365 into 24 into 60 into 60 seconds when we multiply this number 
we will get 1 light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 raised to 12 kilometer. So clearly you can understand how large this unit is. This value you no need to by heart. The steps are given only to make you understand that light year means it is a large unit using to measure distances in space. Now we will move to the next topic. You know that stars are present in the sky during the daytime also. That means all the time the stars are there. But we will not be able to see during the daytime because of the bright sunlight. Do you remember a song which you have learned in your KG classes? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now we are going to learn about the twinkling of stars. What is your opinion about this process? Are they twinkling in the sky? No, they are not twinkling in the sky. Twinkling of stars are due to the atmosphere of earth or it is due to the process called atmospheric refraction. That means when the light from the stars passing through the atmosphere, due to atmospheric refraction we feel that they are twinkling in the sky. But if you view a star above the atmosphere, you can see that they are not twinkling but they appear to shine more brightly. You will learn about atmospheric refraction in detail in your higher classes. Now we will discuss about the sun. You all know that sun is also a star. It is our main source of heat and light. It is a luminous object. Sun is a medium sized star. That is some stars are smaller but some stars are bigger than the sun. But sun is the star which is closest to our earth. That is why it is appearing as too bigger for us. The other stars appear like points of light because they are very far from us than the sun. You already learned about the unit used to measure distances in space that is light year. You know that one light year means the distance traveled by light in one year. Or two light year means the distance traveled by light in two years. Similarly, when we measure the distance of the sun from the earth, it is equal to 8.3 light minutes. That is, it is the distance traveled by light in 8.3 minutes. Or we can also explain this as the light takes 8.3 minutes to reach the earth from the sun. One more time I will repeat. The sunlight takes 8.3 minutes to reach the earth from the sun. We can define this in another way also. You learned in your previous class that we see the object only when the light emitted or reflected by the object reaches in our eyes. That is, the light ray entering into the eye forms image there. Therefore, you see the image of the sun only when a light ray from the sun reaches in our eyes and forms image. But when you have seen this light ray will take 8.3 minutes to reach here from the sun. That is, when you see the sun, Actually, you are able to see the image of the sun 8.3 minutes back. That is a past image. For example, if you see the sun at 9 am, you will be getting its image around 8.52 am. 
The next nearest star to us other than the sun is Alpha Centauri or Proxima Centauri. The distance of Alpha Centauri or Proxima Centauri from Earth is equal to 4.3 light years. That means the light from this star will take 4.3 years to reach here. This also means that when you look at Alpha Centauri, you will be able to see its image 4.3 years back. Then what about the millions of other stars? We are able to see their past images many many years back. Children, as I told in the introduction, stars are huge celestial bodies made mostly of hydrogen and helium that produce light and heat from the chemical reactions taking place inside their cores. At the core, that means at the center of the stars, hydrogen fuses to form helium at very high temperature. During this process, Huge amount of energy is released in the form of heat and light. Thus, it is the fusion of hydrogen within the core of the star which emits light energy. You all learned in your primary classes that sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Is it true? You know that when we are traveling in a train, you see that the things outside move backwards, that is, opposite to the direction of your motion. But are they moving? No. You know that they are not moving backwards. It is just you feel that they are moving backward due to your forward movement in the train. Similarly, the sun and all the other stars appear to move from east to west because of the rotation of the earth in its north-south imaginary axis from west to east. As it is rotating from west to east, all heavenly bodies appear to move from east to west. In the previous part, we have seen the stars appear to move from east to west. But there is a star in the night sky which appears to be stationary from the earth. That is the pole star. The pole star appears to be stationary from the earth because it is situated in the direction which is directly above the geographic north pole of the axis of rotation of the earth. This is illustrated here. The pole star always points in the north direction. Thus looking at the position of the pole star during the night, one can easily find the geographic directions and hence take the correct route. Sailors were using this property in ancient times. It should be noted that pole star is not visible in southern hemisphere. So the sailors cannot find direction in southern hemisphere with the help of the pole star. Dear children, we are concluding today's topic. I hope today's topic is clear to you. Please write down the answers of the following questions in your notebook. Question number 1. Define light year. Question number 2. Stars appear to move from east to west. Why? Question number 3. Pole star appears to be stationary from earth. Give reason. I hope you all are safe in your home. Thank you. God bless you.